Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Taurus. How are you guys, Taurus? Hope all's well. Let's see what your energies are. A lot of Taurus energy <laughs> uh, this month. Yeah, I know. And it's, it's actually um, Gemini season, which is the strangest thing, but there's still a lot of this Taurus energy. Yeah, there we go. It's all planetary. I see an offer, an opportunity, Taurus. Beautiful. The start of something new. Could be a new job, new love life. Um, could be anything. It's solid, reliable. Could be a down payment. Yeah, I see truth, success, and victory. This could be uh, someone coming up with some kind of idea as well. But I feel there's some kind of truth being exposed. So I like this. There's a lot of happiness and joy. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, someone here is kind of keeping their feelings to themselves, suffering in silence, and someone is waiting. Someone's waiting for a, no, this could be a down payment on home. They're just keeping their feelings to themselves, but someone's waiting for something. It could be commitment to build this foundation. Well, I feel they're going to be feeling a lot happier soon here. Now, this could be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Yeah, something has ended. There's a, Something has ended. It was very painful, a painful period in someone's life. So someone's rising like the phoenix from the ashes. Beautiful. So this is lovely. There's a reason to celebrate here, Taurus. Lovely. Something you've been waiting for is coming to fruition. It could have to do with a house and a home, a commitment, a new job. Uh, like I say, maybe a down payment. Beautiful. Yeah, I see uh, someone at a crossroads in their life taking things to the next level. So it really looks good. So a painful period's over. This is going to be over. This suffering in silence. <laughs> yeah. And there we have. I do see possibly having children. Now someone is definitely here re reflecting on a situation that's over. See, it's in the past now. But someone is kind of thinking about that. And I do see having children. Someone could be missing their children as well. But I feel it has to do with just reminiscing about this la this path that's now over. Yeah, there's some fond memories there though. Yeah, so I do see two people connecting. See, soulmate connection. This is two people taking something to the next level. So... Yeah, it's a beautiful soulmate connection. Why is someone suffering in silence? Yeah. Something to do with work, keeping something to themselves here. So it has to do with a situation that wasn't working for somebody here. Or they're just keeping their feelings to themselves. Uh, but I, I see new. So this is something really positive. And it could be just someone keeping things to themselves, not saying anything. Just focusing on work while they wait. <laughs> yeah, see, there is it is. Someone here is maybe missing someone longing for love. I mean, it is possible this is something, somebody ended something with this person. Two people have gone their separate ways and someone's just um, left behind here. But two people are definitely coming together. So it looks like two people coming apart. It's now over. You know, the straw that broke the camel's back and someone is connecting with another person here so so much happiness and joy Taurus yeah see the birth of something new definitely gorgeous energy here <laughs> somebody could have news of a pregnancy marriage um, so this is a really nice energy too yeah so much happiness yeah we have somebody here who's single someone who i don't think is going to be single for much longer it's a person enjoying the fruits of their labor taking care of themselves so beautiful yeah see it's an energy of somebody and it could be too um some of you do see a, a virgo energy um, it could be the person suffering in silence, but it's like an, what I'm seeing is one person's loss is another person's gain. So I definitely see two people coming. This is the straw that broke the camel's back. So like I say, it could be yourself uh, with the, the, the feminine energy here. See what you put out there coming back to you. So there's this happiness and joy. So nice. Yeah, see it's investing, waiting patiently. Someone's been patient. Showing that they're invested. They're looking out for themselves. So it's somebody who's been independent. But I feel there's something new here. Some of you is just a, 
I, I see a large purchase, a down payment on a home. I see a blended family, two people coming together. And I see someone being very strong, confident, very capable, a lot of inner strength. It takes a lot of strength to be patient. <laughs> but what you're putting out there is coming back. So very nice. Let's have a look at this Four of Wands. Why is the Four of Wands here for Taurus? Yeah, so much happiness and joy, happy home, happy life, a lot of emotional fulfillment. Now, there could be a large event, a wedding, a gathering. There could be news of something like that, too. So, but just, I feel it's just a beautiful new beginning here. If you're, even if you're the, uh, the if you are a, um, a masculine and you're watching this, uh, the feminine is open to this, okay? <laughs> just so you know. Yeah, they're waiting to receive. Someone waiting to receive here. Yeah, gorgeous energy. Tell me about this um, painful period in someone's life that's now over. Yeah, someone has some regrets. See, someone has some kind of regrets because it's two people coming apart, two people coming together. So someone here is pretty stressed out, a lot of anxiety. Um, so who is this? There is someone here, this third energy, uh, someone who's just... Yeah, someone's missing somebody here, but I don't know. Something happened where somebody just moved on here. Yeah, see, it's a person who was keeping secrets, keeping everything to themselves. A little Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Yeah, someone here is just keeping everything to themselves here. Yeah, it has to do with cooperating, compromising, compatibility. See, someone's going down another path. Someone's being left behind here. Yeah. Watch out for children, too. If there's children involved and it's two people coming apart, there could be someone who's going through a lot of stress and anxiety, possibly a child. Okay, so make sure uh, there's some kind of support or something there. Because I do, it could be, like I say, uh, the mother of the children, someone being left behind. Um, but it could be children who are uh, going through some stress and anxiety. Uh, we have... Uh, someone here who's rem reminiscing here. Someone who's talking, communicating. See, this is two people. It has to do with cooperating and compromising. Somebody here, I feel, was trying to cooperate and compromise. Somebody wasn't. It's an energy of two people who just aren't compatible. That's why I feel the straw that broke the camel's back. It's just done. Tell me about this. This is somebody who wants another chance. They want another chance. But I feel this is somebody who's... Like I say, they're already connecting with someone else here. Wow. Heavy stuff, yeah. And we have someone looking at the details of this situation here. Taurus, you're looking at this. Okay, you're taking this to the next level. You're taking your time. You're grounding yourself. Yeah, it's full steam ahead. See, so determined to have succeed. Someone's out of here. Someone's out of here. Yeah. But I do see someone putting on the brakes and taking another look. Maybe feeling a little bit sorry for somebody here because we know the Empress is kind and compassionate. It's somebody who's always forgiving. So there's something that's happened. Now, I don't know if this is with yourself because I see the something new for you. See? If you're single, there's something new. Yeah, see a cycle ending. See, a cycle's over. Someone's moving on. Um... The timing is right, full steam ahead. But definitely that putting on the brakes and taking a look how somebody else feels. Yeah, someone is uh, definitely, I feel, here. But whatever it is that happened, I feel someone here is just... And I do see someone's apologizing, trying to, you know, maybe talking to the children or just kind of reminiscing, trying to be kind and compassionate. But, yeah... It's going to be somebody um, tired of the excuses. Because I, I feel there's a feminine being left behind for whatever. Where they didn't want to cooperate and compromise. There's just a lack of compatibility. Uh, or it's just two people have nothing in common. Because you see, going down this path. See, somebody else at a crossroads. See, making a choice. Two people coming apart. Yeah. Yeah, somebody here, see, refusing to budge, refusing to give in. Someone's been stubborn, selfish. This is someone who's bent over backwards to please someone. This is also someone, I feel, who's not taking responsibility uh, for something here, too. So 
we'll just leave that. It feels kind of heart wrenching. I feel, I do feel, um, somebody's feeling um, compassionate about the other person. But like I say, one person's loss is another person's gain. Uh, it's a cycle, a whole new cycle. The timing is right. Yeah, we have somebody, things are moving pretty quickly here. A lot of talk, a lot of communication. Yeah, it could have to do with moving, relocating, moving to a new home. Um, yeah, someone's moving on, but I do see someone looking, like I say, looking at this, what's being left behind here. Yeah, see someone releasing baggage, burdens, responsibilities. This is someone who keeps blaming someone for something they do. Being stuck, stubborn, refusing to budge. Mm -hmm. It's like I say, it's someone who bends over backwards to please somebody. Whatever you do, don't be careful what you're sacrificing here. Okay? Be careful what you're sacrificing. So yourself too. look up make sure you look out for yourself here but i i really feel it's the start of something new i don't think you're going to be single much longer somebody is going to be single they're i feel they're being left behind <laughs> they could have virgo in their chart yeah see it's a fresh new start happy home happy life yeah and i see a soulmate connection yeah it's a passionate new beginning two people are very attractive there's definitely this it's just a new beginning. It's a lot of passion, a lot of drive, ambition. I see um, uh, coming up with creative ideas to people who are determined. I just feel that full steam ahead, uh, someone who's very determined uh, to succeed. So, yeah. So someone trying to not get emotionally invested in what's being left behind, though. But there, there is that, <laughs> the, the kindness, the compassion. Yeah, this is someone who's very mature. Yeah, so we have someone here. See, this is, this is I see an Aries energy here, or Scorpio, uh, someone who's keeping their feelings to themselves. Yeah, this is somebody here who took a risk. They were keeping secrets. Yeah, so this person's going to go off on their own path. I feel they're going to be fine because I do feel so somebody taking a risk, taking a leap of faith, leaving something behind. Yeah, but I do feel they're, they're keeping secrets or keeping feelings to themselves. They're hiding something. Yeah, this is someone who doesn't want to give up. That's what I feel. They don't want to give up. They don't want to. I would just be a little bit cautious of that person. Um, because I do feel it's an energy of someone who's very controlling and they've lost control. Someone's blocking someone, refusing to budge or refusing to give in to someone. Uh, and I do feel it's somebody here who, uh, I don't know what they're doing, but like I say, there's, there's definitely, they, they definitely have some emotional issues. They, and they could be keeping secrets too. So yeah, see, it's an energy of somebody here just, Someone who keeps bringing the same thing up over again, too. Like I say, where someone's not giving in to them. They're not giving in to any demands. They're not budging. So I'm just going to leave it. I just feel like I need to dig to make sure I'm, I'm getting it right here. But there it is. There's change. Change for the better. Someone's moving on. See, it's an energy of moving on. And possibly moving in, relocating uh, here. Uh, beautiful, passionate new beginning. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, see, friends and family, a reason to celebrate some kind of gathering here. Now, it could be just moving to a new community. But someone is definitely taking a pause and looking at what's being left behind. But it's an energy of moving on. It's time to move along now. And that's why I feel this is somebody who's trying to sympathize. But I'm going to be honest, it's kind of a sorry, not sorry energy. Um because of someone here who, and I do think it's the, the masculine who's bent over backwards to please somebody. It's never good enough. They're stubborn, stuck. They're holding on to something, uh, trying to, you know, keep this person stuck. Um, they're, you know, it's someone who's being selfish here. Yeah, but I don't think this the masculine is putting up with this. You know, this is someone who wants what they want. There's not budging, not giving in. Yeah, see, it's a person here. It's time to move along. And I do think they will. I do think they're folk trying to focus on work. 
And I do think whoever's being left behind is going to go down their own path. See, someone, it's two people coming apart. Someone's going to go down their own path here. Mm -hmm. Interesting energy. Taurus, Taurus, masculine or feminine, depends how you want to look at it. You can flip it, but there is a reason to celebrate a beautiful, passionate new beginning here. Yeah. Tell me about this three of cups. Ooh, yeah, see, there it is. Beautiful. Somebody being kind and compassionate. It's part of the empress, see? Someone who's emotionally mature. Someone who's available. Could be, too, where someone's tried to keep a secret that they're uh, moving, two people moving in together. Because it has to do with the timing and opportunity. Okay. Uh, possibly a new house, a new home. Uh, so that's where I feel someone's trying to keep this a secret. Um, but I do think it's possibly being exposed. So there could be a little drama or something there. But yeah, someone here releasing things that no longer serve them. Someone releasing this. The situation doesn't serve. Tell me more about this. This is someone who's got Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio in their chart. Like I say, sorry but not sorry. That's what I feel. I just, it popped into my head. Like they're trying to be, but I, I just feel they're not being as sympathetic as... Or it's like they just can't. I don't know. It's like a little bit of a block. They're protecting themselves. Yeah, this is someone who knows what they want. <laughs> this is someone who knows what they want. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, they're going through a healing, clearing things up, clearing things out. Someone taking a break. This is somebody going to heal. Somebody here, like I say, when I see the moon in this, mental health issues, um, Someone who's obsessed, because um, often this is an energy of someone with that energy who's kind of obsessed. They don't want to let go. And I do feel they're trying to gain sympathy, but I don't think this person's capable of that with whatever's happened here. Yeah, so someone who had other choices possibly kept a secret. Yeah, they were juggling. Somebody was juggling, so it looks like it was all exposed. Okay, I had to dig. Sorry, I know something... Taurus, you probably don't, especially the masculine here, if you are a Taurus, uh, you know, this is somebody who is juggling uh, back and forth between two people. So, like I say, the masculine has had enough, I feel. The straw, that they're rising like the phoenix from the ashes, too. So, um, there could the masculine could actually be a um, some sad energy, or they could have it in their chart, but they're definitely very determined. Uh, to take control. This is actually a masculine taking back their power from somebody else. Because I, I really feel the feminine here is, is a Taurus for most of you. Somebody who's open okay, uh, to offers, opportunities, but it's really an energy of what somebody puts out there coming back to them. This person could be kind of spiritual where they have that you know, that energy of knowing, a little karmic energy possibly where they know, um, you know, they're looking at this with kindness, compassion. They are, I feel they are, you know. Um, but I, I think this other person just wanted this other opportunity. You know, see, looking at the past with kindness, compassion, see, no longer giving, no longer reciprocating or giving to somebody here. This could be a friend too. Some of you could have a friend. You could be uh, cutting some friends out um, here, no longer talking to them, Taurus. Okay, or if there's a feminine here who's a Cancer and you're a masculine, this is someone who's no longer giving to somebody. Uh, friends and family no longer reaching out. But I do see someone who is showering abundance. See, trying to shower some abundance, some kindness, compassion. And uh, the other person wasn't budging here. So it could be a friend, too. It could have nothing to do with the relationship. But there's a lot of reminiscing, longing for love, missing somebody, uh, possibly children involved. Yeah, so someone blocking somebody, standing up to them. Yeah, see, they're not budging. They're not giving in. And it, it's the king of wands, not giving in. Someone who stands up to somebody. It's like enough is enough. Yeah, thanks, but no thanks. No longer interest. This person's drained. 
Now, they're just emotionally drained from all this. So, see, it's not always the feminine. Um, but I do feel um, this is your person. Feminine Taurus, okay? This is your person. They're being strong. But I feel like you are being this person's strength in some ways. Yeah, and I do see definitely some friends, people here that you're no longer talking to, no longer giving to, um, possibly just turning your back on them. So this could be someone in that social circle. Let's have a look at this outcome. Yeah, but there is definitely a reason to celebrate here. This is a soulmate connection. You're connecting with this person, but someone's being left behind. Yeah, see the energy vampire. This is nothing is wasted. This is the, what I call the vulture spirit. Wasting time, wasting energy. See, this is the thing. See, it's an energy of someone who's just draining. It's where you can only do so much for someone. Um, yeah, so truth trans transcends illusion. You got some good luck. There's the dragonfly spirit. I love that. So it's an energy of someone kind of seeing the truth of the situation here. And then we have time for a deep dive. So this is the, definitely we have someone with a Queen of Swords kind of energy. See, someone's being cut out. That's the swan, someone who knows their worth. I, I feel it's friends and family. It's not so much a love interest, a partner, uh, because I feel that King of Wands is drained. They've had enough. Thank you, but no thank you. It's time to move along now. Yeah. And then we have the abundance universe will provide. So this is often a person who is a very good provider, someone who can be very generous. We know the king of, of wands can be generous, but I'm not so sure that's this person's sign. I feel it's just their energy, that energy of making that bold move to finally stand up to somebody here. I actually feel this is someone who's quite kind and compassionate. Um, generally and often very patient but this is where I feel it's just enough is enough so uh, I don't really see what sign they are they could even be a Taurus themselves I do see Leo uh, I see strong cancer but I feel uh, that could be um, your own energy or this other person yeah it doesn't matter you'll know obviously you know who this is if you don't this is something that's about to happen the start of something new so you could connect with somebody who's going through something uh, with an ex a breakup a little bit of a shake up there but there's that t time to take a leap of faith i think you're heading down this path with someone okay I really, really do. I, I feel like you've just got some beautiful energy. It's telling you to be, you know, use your mind wisely. It's an energy of being determined. I don't think you're going to, whoever this person is, whether it's a friend or someone in your social circle, I feel like this is your strong mind, strong will. Trusting your, your mind, okay, making the right decision. And I do see time taking a time out. So someone's taking a time out. There we have the bear. So this is like that mother bear energy. It's like the queen of pentacles kind of here. <laughs> I often see that, but it has to do with uh, the bear spirit taking a time out. Yeah, so it has to do with dog spirit, loyal. See, this is somebody loyal, being loyal to somebody. Somebody wasn't loyal. So yeah, and it could be just a friend here. Somebody kind of maybe getting involved, but I do feel this king of wands energy is someone who's, just moving on from this person. Now, they could be any sign. that They could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, it could be in their chart. Um, they could be a, you know, a water sign, too. But they are, they are suffering in silence. But they're being silenced because I feel they're being blocked. So, yeah, harsh. So I'm just going to look. I just want to look at some of the other beautiful energy. And I love the, the dog spirit. It's energy of being loyal. See, this is that faithful friend. See, somebody here I feel wasn't a loyal friend. And I do think this is that swan where you're cutting somebody out. You're releasing them. You're no longer paying any attention. You're no longer giving to them. Okay? Now, some people are being cut out here. Or someone is being cut out um, with three people involved. That's what I fe felt originally here. But yeah, see, happy home, happy life. Queen of Pentacles, there it is. So this is an energy of someone who has a comfortable home, okay? 
somebody is definitely um, marriage material. So, yeah, this is very nice. Yeah, see a passionate new beginning. This is two people coming apart, two people coming together. And I feel it's been a bit of a, a long haul here. And uh, then we have, yeah, the King of Swords. This is a masculine energy here. Someone being logical, wise. Yeah, they're cutting someone out too. Uh, I think this is somebody here who's analyzing the situation. They're very logical. They're very strong-willed, strong mind. So I feel this is two people who can communicate very well. Uh, two people who are loyal. Yeah, you're very like-minded, I feel. So this is um, a lovely for yourself. I feel badly for the person left behind, but uh, sometimes this happens. But I do feel this person will be okay. They'll just change their focus eventually and they'll go down their own path. All right? Take care and we'll see you soon.